Hey guys, Jim with Beast Mode Builds here today. We are in the middle of a project. I'll give you a... I got an M Factory differential. That is going in the GTI. So, so far, pulled out quite a bit of stuff here. I've got, let me show you. Front subframe, the rear front subframe with my motor mounts on there. Put in all new, like brand new uh, urethane bushings throughout. There's that sway bar that we installed not that long ago. Got everything kind of prepped and ready for this transmission to come out. Show you up under here. So, pulled the subframe, steering rack's just kind of dangling there. Got some urethane bushings on that stuff. So, got everything pretty well unhooked. We're getting ready to rip this thing out and install this diff. Okay, so here's how we're doing this. We got one of these devices from Harbor Freight. It's actually a nice device, like an engine support. Um, put a bolt through down here, support it off a chain. I was able to unhook the motor mount already and lower this side down. We're hoping to pull this out and down out from under since we have a lift. So I was able to get the bolts out up top. So we're going to lift it up and go from there. Those get kind of close. Well, we got our broke free and I don't have a stand, so I'm just gonna have to let Dusty bring it down by himself. <laughs> Typical me, fixing your stuff. Just do the work, man. <laughs> there she is. Okay, so I was able to get the case off. Got her all cracked open. So far, it looks pretty good. Get that out. So far, so good. We're making progress here. So we got the case off. Got all the gears out. Everything looks nice and clean. Everything's working good. And we got the new SD. Uh, was able to get that uh, speed ring off the old one. Kind of left the bearings on the old one, wasn't worried about it. The speed ring, uh, we pressed that off right over the old bearing, came right off. So that worked out nice. And we're able to get this one on. So uh, we ended up sticking the diff and ring gear in the freezer for a couple hours. And then we put the bearings, since there's no plastics or rubber seals or anything like that, it's all metal. So we were able to put them in a little toaster oven to about 300 degrees, along with the rain gear. And uh, basically they almost fell on. So we were able to push them right on by hand. So that's a nice way to do it when you can. So, all right. So we'll be able to put that back in the transmission as soon as the uh, parts cool and heat and equalize and get solid together so uh, should be able to do that real soon okay so we got the gears all set in Dusty's scraping the gasket the old uh, gasket off there's the diff in making sure the mating surfaces are all clear and free of any debris nothing's gonna get inside then we're going to put the old Honda Bond on and get the case back on. I think that's all we have there. So I'm making a little repair. This back corner panel was always rusted out. <clears throat> so I stripped it back, put some rust protectant on there. Doing a small paint repair then. Coming out pretty good. <clears throat> the other things is... Uh, Painted the front brake calipers and the rears. Let's see if they show up here. A little harder to see right now. It's dark. 
but we were able to get the LSD done. So put a limited slip diff in this thing. I was able to clean up the, uh, I can't see it real good, but I was able to clean the trans up real nice. Uh, basically took a wire wheel to it, cleaned it all up, made it look like new. So uh, that came out really well. Getting ready for a show tomorrow. There you have it.
here we are at the Roots Classic. Seen this before and it's beautiful. Always, here's my K swap GTI with the K20 in here. There's my dash if you've never seen it, the RFX gauge cluster. color on this guy. Looks pretty cool with the wide body. Don't normally like the wide bodies, but I like it in that color. It's a cool green. Cool car. I like the cage. Pretty neat. So, uh, Hey guys, this is Jim with Beast Mode Builds. So we just finished up at the Roots Classic uh, out in Wildwood, New Jersey. Uh, it was held in the, uh, I guess, New Jersey. What the heck's the name of this facility? No, the building. Oh yeah, sorry, the Wildwood Convention Center. So it was just held at the Wildwood Convention Center. Uh, so it was a pretty cool show. You can see around me. Quite a few really nice cars. So, hope you enjoyed the video, guys.